Hey grade tens, in this video we'll be going over some mechanics questions, past exam papers, motion in one dimension. Our question says two friends, Tom and James, are training for an athletics meeting on a sports field. They give you the length of the sports field and both friends start from the middle of the field at point A. So this over here is my starting position. Tom runs using two cones, which they label on the diagram over here. The first cone is placed 50 meters east of the starting point. So here's the starting point. If you go to the east, here's cone one. And the second is placed 40 meters east of cone one. So basically cone two is 90 meters to the east of cone one. Okay, very important that you know the compass directions, but they do give it to you over here. Right, it says here, Tom runs along the following route. So let us map Tom's route. So what Tom does is he starts at A and then he runs due east to cone one. So he goes here. Then he turns around and returns to the starting point due west. So he goes west, ends back at the cone. Then from A again, he runs to the east to cone two. And then he turns around, runs west and stops at cone one. So this is where he started. And this is where he ended, okay? So he did a little bit of up down, up, down running over here, but essentially he ended at cone one. And we have to answer quite a few questions based on his movement, including um, questions about distance, displacement, velocity, and time. So the first question says, define the term displacement in words. This is a definition you have to study. And displacement is the difference or change in position in space. It's actually a vector quantity and displacement always points from the initial position to the final position. So just remember that. And displacement, just as a side note, is represented by triangle X. Change is triangle. The delta change in X. X is position. So 2.2 says write down the final position of Tom relative to the starting point. So when they say relative to the starting point, that is your zero reference. Think of it as that is the point where we're going to refer back to. So they say relative to the starting point. So remember, he started at A, then he ran to cone one, then he went back to A, then he went to cone two, and then he ended at cone one. So you start here, you end here. They want to know, write down the final position relative to the starting point. So Tom ended over here and he started over here. So he ended 50 meters to the east. So that would be your final position, 50 meters to the east. And why are we saying to the east? Because it's relative to the starting point. So they mean starting at the starting point, where did he end up? So he started here, he stopped here, he is 50 meters east of his starting point. So in this question, you get a mark for saying 50 meters, a mark for saying east. They say that the complete route described above took Tom 30 seconds to complete, that's our time. Determine his average speed in meters per second. Now, in videos in my playlist for mechanics, I discuss the difference between speed and velocity. Remember, speed is distance divided by time. We all did speed, distance, time in grade nine, and this is the formula for speed, distance over time. Velocity, however, is displacement over time. And you might think, but ma'am, that's the same thing. Speed is measured in meters per second, and velocity is also measured in meters per second in most cases. It can be kilometers per hour or whatever, but in this case, meters per second. This is not the same thing. So the question's asking me for Tom's average speed. So I'm going to calculate his average speed, explaining to you how I got it, and then I'll contrast it with velocity, even though the question's not asking it, just to show you. So when we're calculating average speed, you write your formula, you get a mark for your formula. Now distance, that is the total path length traveled. You add up all the distances that Tom ran all together. So let's go back to our little scenario over here. I will write it as a sum over here. So Tom went from A and then he went to cone one. So that's 50 meters. Then he turns around and then returned back to the starting point. So you ran another 50 meters. Then from A, he went to cone two. So he went all this way. That's 90 meters. Then he turned around and ran west, ending at cone one. So he went another 40 meters this way. I hope that makes sense. So 
In total, he ran 230 meters. That is his total distance. Divided by the time, which is 30 seconds, so we're dividing it by 30, and my answer for speed is 7,67 meters per second. I've rounded off to two decimal places. Remember, they want his speed in meters per second. That means that the distance must be in meters and the time must be in seconds. Now, I just want to quickly contrast it, even though the question didn't ask, with how we would calculate displacement of Tom. And from this, we would get the velocity. Now, remember, displacement, as we defined earlier, is the difference or change in position. So after 30 seconds, it took Tom 30 seconds to complete this whole route. Remember, he started here and then he went as follows, ending over here. How we calculate displacement is always from where you start pointing towards where you end. So he started at A and ended at cone one. So his displacement was 50 meters to the east. That's his displacement. So you would say 50 meters and he took 30 seconds. And his velocity will therefore be 1.67 meters per second east. His displacement is 50 meters east. Remember, displacement is a vector. It needs a direction. His displacement is 50 meters east. And he took 30 seconds to do that. So therefore, his velocity is 1.67 meters per second east. If you don't give me a unit, you don't get your marks. Okay, 2.4 is James now, another person running from the same starting point. Then he's running east to cone two. So James is going all the way here. He immediately turns around and runs in a westerly direction until he reaches point B. Now note point B is all the way over here due west. So he runs from A to cone two, then all the way over here to point B. Okay. Take note that remember A was in the middle of the field. And remember the field is 200 meters long. So if A is in the middle of the field, it means from B to A, this distance over here is 100 meters. Okay, so essentially James ran, he did 90 meters to cone two, another 90 meters to the middle of the field back here, and then an extra 100 meters. So it says determine the total time taken by James if his average speed is one meter per second slower than Tom's. Now remember, Tom's average speed is 7,67 meters per second. So that means that James's average speed is 6,67 meters per second. So we can work out James's time as follows. Sub in James's average speed, 6,67. The distance that James ran, remember, he goes 90, then another 90, and then 100. And I think it's best to show the sum of the distances so that you can show that you are accurately and correctly calculating distance. And we're looking for time. Now, when you're solving for time, you're solving for something that is at the bottom of the fraction. How we do that is these two things swap places when we solve and you get the time to be 41 comma. Now my calculator says 979. We may round it off to two decimal places, which would then make it 41 comma 98. And remember your time is in seconds. Then this question wants the average velocity of James for the entire motion. Now remember velocity considers displacement. So where did James start? So James started at point A and where did James end? He ended at point B. We don't care about all the extra bits in the middle. Displacement is just where did you start? Over here. And then it points towards where you ended. So this is James's displacement. And how far is that? That's 100 meters to the west. So the displacement of James is 100 meters west. And the time that James took, we just worked out the time that he took, 41,98. So we sub in 41,98. And we get 2,38. And remember your unit, meters per second, it's velocity. And you have to give me a direction. It's from where you start pointing towards where you ended. You are pointing towards the west. So you have to give me a direction. 
I hope that that question was useful and helpful. Please check out the next video because we will be doing part two, which involves equations of motion and part three, which involves graphs of motion.